I was born on a farm. My parents were sharecroppers over in Northeast and South Carolina. We grew tobacco, we grew cotton, and we grew corn. And we grew it with mules and plows. We bought this place in 1991, just prior to my retiring from the Marine Corps. And we started operations here in 1995. What you see here today is a far cry from being a sharecropper to being a landowner. So what impresses me most about Jim's operation is the efficiency. Primarily, he is the main operator of all the acres. This place was almost 300 acres, and we started with 15 cows. Today, we have had as many as 300 head of cattle on this place. We have gone from 150 acres of hay to now we have over 300 acres of hay. So we've doubled the size of the hay operation, which is really the backbone of the business. We don't just grow grass, we grow premium hay. And we sell to people who love their horses and want to make sure that they have good, nutritious hay to feed their horses. What sets this operation apart is the presence of the center pivot irrigation. No one has taken it to the scale that Mr. Jim has, sort of given him control of some of the risk and, and taken some of the risk out of the operations with hay. Well, we take great pride in the product that we sell. Our hay is analyzed. Many of our customers want to know the actual nutritional value of their hay. Many times, just coming out here with Mr. Jim, I actually will wait for him to finish a field, and then we'll actually sit down and close the loan and sign the paperwork. Our goal is to keep them running, especially with the hay operation here like Mr. Jim. He has to cut hay and make hay while the sun is shining. Without Egg South, I would not have been able to expand the operation. I would not have been able to replace the equipment so you really need good equipment to get out and do the job on any given day. It's just it's everything to him to be able to get in the field in time and get his commodity out the hay. Making this a successful business, watching the mom and dad be able to have them come here and see what we've done. There's an old red tractor in the other barn. My dad wanted one of those when we were growing up and uh, he couldn't afford it. So when I saw this tractor, I bought it in memory of my father. I wanted him to have that. It was something that he wanted and I wanted for him. My parents have been gone for 10 years now, but it's still important that they be proud of the son that they raised.